Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at some splashy track mat effects. And I've got a few track mat fixes too. All right, track mats are an easy way to add a lot of spice to your video. And basically they're, they're like some kind of a mask with a hard edge, a soft edge, but you can also use animations. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. A bunch of animations that were from Motion Array and there's a link in the description. Basically a track mat is something that's black and white and the white part is showing the blacks hidden or you can invert that if the mat is the other way. Um, I'm gonna start with something simple, simple shapes, and then we'll get more complex. And like I said, I'm gonna show you a fix where the, the, the position of the track mat wasn't correct for me, but I was able to fix that without having to render a new track mat. Uh, let me just show you some of these mats that I had uh, available. And these are like ink drops, ink blotches, really useful. You can use them for titles, you can use them for faces. Brush strokes. Oh yeah, and these, I'm gonna have to show my um, transparency grid. These are actually an alpha. So typically track mats are Luma, which is the black and white level, how, how bright and how dark something is. Uh, but some of these, like this, this pack of brush strokes are actually transparent. And in, in that respect, you use the alpha or the transparency of it. So you couldn't see it because the color of it is black against black, but you can see right there. They so, slowly grow on the screen. Pretty cool. Uh, these are good for lower thirds. And some of these watercolor ones. Boop, 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 boop. So a bunch of splashes. All right, so let's go have a look at the first example. Now, if I turn off the uh, track mat effect and turn off the shape, it's just a video. The video has the track mat key effect so in your effects, you just search for track mat or mat, and it comes up. Track mat key effect. And you drop that on the video on the bottom. The, the top is the actual mat. So the effect isn't on the mat. The effect is on the clip below, and you pick the mat above it. And, and the mat disappears. You just see its effect. So if I turn this back on, this is just a simple heart shape, and the video is poking through that heart shape. And if we looked at the uh, transparency grid there, that would be transparent. I'm going to put a link in the description to exporting transparencies, uh, just in case you're not familiar with it. MPEG-4, MP4s are, are typical, what a lot of people will use. You can't have transparency in an MP4. You need other formats like uh, QuickTime ProRes. So let's look at the next one. This one used that splashy, boom, 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 a bunch of that. Now the clip here is very dark, but it adds a grungy kind of effect to this. You look at, look at that, boom, boom, very grungy. One more time. Okay, the next one is one of the paintbrush effects. And what makes this interesting, I think, is the fact that I have a color mat at the bottom. And if I turn that color mat off, then we just have that reveal. But if you want a more graphic design kind of look, you just add a color below that. And of course, it's a, it's a color mat. You can pick any color you want. Just like that. Okay. Now the next one, is using one of these on the side. So the paper is tearing from one side to another. You can see all this great texture in here. That's what really makes this work. Ooh. 
All right. And I also added a drop shadow on here. So it's almost as if he's a torn piece of paper above the background. And then I've got some Lumetri color just to, to try to marry these two up so that they work together. Now, the way I fixed this track mat is, you'll notice that it tears and then it stops and holds in that last position. It's important to note that I had to convert this from just the regular track mat to a nest. Right click on it and choose nest. If I look at the original, the original does this. Let me just turn these two off. The original does this. It tears and then it disappears. But I wanted it to tear and hold. So how do you do that? Well, very easy. You copy um, the first one multiple times. You right click on the, on the first one that you want to hold and then choose frame hold options and you choose the out point. So the out point is the very last frame. So it's almost like taking a screenshot, a frame grab and then putting it in. The only problem with frame grabs is you've now generated a new piece of art that if you take this and move this somewhere else and you forget that, it's gonna mess this up. This is using the existing clip, it's just the out point. The only thing is don't trim this because then you'll change the out point. So I just duplicated this two times. So now it tears out and then it holds. And I wanted it to hold for a long, long, long time because I wasn't sure how long that clip was of him looking. And it holds as long as I want. All right. The next one was a little bit more complicated. This is a full design. I wanted to, to show this example because I wanted to keep this design element in the left and all of the graphics over here on the right. But if we look at the track mat, track mat's actually over there. I needed it up here and you can't just move it because it will, um, it will it, where the white cuts off, you'll see that. What you want is just the black splotch to move over there and everything to stay white. The way that you can fake that is by using offset. So you can see when I turn offset, let me just get rid of uh, these titles for a second. That's where it originally was. And if you move this, you'll see it ends here. And I've got a color mat in the background. It just ends here. So you cannot just move track mats because the effect of the track mat itself, the color of black or white, depending on how it's inverted or not, is going to move. But if you use offset, so we go back to the original position, offset duplicates. So if we look at the choices here, um, it shifts the center over there. So I can move this where I want and it's going to continue that. So I'm, I can move it all the way over to here before it starts to repeat. The only problem with this is I also moved the top. So I moved it up. I'm just going to undo those. And let me just turn off. Whoops. I had to put a mask down here because if I didn't, the top is starting to poke out on the bottom. That's the way offset works. This isn't like an old Photoshop filter that's been on Premiere Pro forever. And it's very useful, but in this example, it was useful, but then it was problematic because I wanted to move the splotch up and it started to repeat on the bottom. A quick fix is to select 
the mask and just draw a mask at the bottom. That tells Premiere Pro to not use the offset effect at that point. So then you don't see the stuff that's coming up the top at the bottom. The final result is a completely controlled track mat exactly where I wanted it. Boom. The last one is an example where I'm using a video to make the track mat. Same thing, I choose the bottom clip, add track mat key, and I'm setting this to Luma. And if we look at my track mat key, I've got the offset working, same thing, moving that over a little bit, but I also have a Luma tree color just to darken that down. Because in here, we've got orange and mostly black. It's not really white. The orange doesn't, when you convert that to a matte, is not completely black and white. Um, and you'll also notice that I have keyframes for the offset because she's moving and he's not. He's in the center of the frame. So I had to continuously move her around. If I didn't, then she's over on the side and moving around. So I just simply did a move left and right, left and right to try to keep that in view. The final result looks just like that. So there you go. There's some cool effects you can use uh, any black and white image, any shape, any alpha channel, or any video at all, and use the Lumetri uh, color panel to affect that to make it more of a, of a contrasty matte. You can also uh, take the, the uh, saturation out and have a look at the link in the description. Jump on Motion Array. They've got tons of really great, uh, amazing mats that you can use as a track matte key. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Lots of free stuff there for you to download. Thank you so much to everyone who supports us. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. And it's my job to let you know all the cool things that you can do to video and very simple effects already built right into Premiere Pro. You don't even have to go to After Effects to make your timelines and your designs and your videos look way cooler.